Hello Virgo, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus from the 16th to the 22nd of March 2020. I hope you're well Virgo. So I'm just pulling an overarching tarot card. This is the Druid Tarot Deck. It's a little larger than normal, so but I don't like shuffling the other way. <laughs> so let's see what we have. What is the message for Virgo, please? Angel Spirits Guides. What do we have for our lovely Virgos? Okay. Oh, wow. Rebirth. Judgment. Let's put that down. You know, I like this. You know, this is the card of stepping into your light by allowing yourself to let go of the old, old experiences, old baggage, old hurts, old wounds. If you've been judged poorly, treated poorly, this is about giving up to the universe because the universe always writes wrongs. You know, your actions are judged as, as others are. That is what the universe does. And there's always kind of like the law of the universe that always writes itself. So a big message of stepping into your light. This can be absolutely to do with spiritual awakenings, getting a higher sense of your purpose, your, how you move forward, your life experiences, all of this kind of thing, coming to the clarity of how you move forward in your life now. It is an absolute big rebirth. It is a major arcana. The major influence is on our life. So beautiful, beautiful message. There is powerful karma around you when the rebirth card appears, the judgment card. It is saying karma is on your side. You've learnt lessons that you needed to learn. Remember, this comes just before the world card in the major arcana, before an ending. And it is that, you know, karmic lessons learnt and fulfilled. You've grown as the person, but the hurts, the, the, the baggage that you've learnt from, you don't need to take with you anymore. So, you know, because with the world card, you put it behind you because you've learnt what you needed to, to grow as a person. So, I feel for some of you, it is that poignant time now to step into your light. Beautiful message. You know that powerful karma is on your side. Okay. What is the message for Virgo, please, Angel Spirits Guides? 16th to the 22nd of March, 2020. Message for Virgo, please. Yeah, I feel for some of you, move forward with confidence. If you have been through a difficult time where your confidence has been knocked, where you've lacked confidence, this is absolutely about letting go of the things that made you question yourself and stepping into your light. Uh, by earth, air, fire and water, sorry, I'll say that again. By earth and air, water and fire, let my confidence take light, burn higher. And we also have trust. This is about trusting the universe, trust your instincts, Trust, I am safe, I am secure. In love I trust, my faith endures. Whatever the lessons that you've learnt, Virgo, I feel this is absolutely moving on in your light now. Now, I will say that sometimes this can be about a decision or a choice. So if that's the case, if you were at that point, making a decision or a choice, or there is a second chance at something, it is about trusting your instincts now. Okay. Powerful card to start the reading. <laughs> okay, angels, what do we have for Virgo, please? Message for Virgo. 16th to the 22nd of March, 2020. What is the message for Virgo, please? in the near future. There may well be a choice that you need to make, uh, a point when 
you need to release from what's gone in order to step into your light. I'm going to get another card for this. Any other message, please, angels, for Virgo? <laughs> we have within the next few weeks. Yep. I'm just going to pull one more card. Oh, opportunity. Yeah, and there will be a decision. Now, generally, when judgment appears, it's almost kind of like if it is a choice or an opportunity that you need to decide on, um, it's not something that will come around again. So sometimes judgment can be a second chance, it can be an opportunity, um, a choice to make or decision. But there's a kind of feeling that choose wisely because there are karmic consequences obviously with the rebirth card associated with this and it probably won't come around again. Interesting. Okay, I say as, you know, this is at the bottom of the deck. <laughs> the card of choice even. Okay. What is the message for Virgo, please, Angel Spirits Guides? Message for Virgo. Yeah, Virgo. The Hermit is your card. So, I pull five cards as usual, Virgo. The past, the present, your challenge, advice from spirit, and outcome. Then we'll get clarifiers with a separate deck to go deeper into the message. Is that coming out or not? Yeah. <laughs> I knew that card would come out, you know. Kind of ties in with the reading. Um, I'm going to... Yeah, we have the Page of Wands. The Seven of Wands. The Seven of Cups. And the Ace of Swords. Let's just move those over slightly, if I can. Create a little bit of space. Okay, let's get clarifiers for the cards on the table, please. Angel Spirits Guides. For Virgo, 16th to the 22nd of March, 2020. Starting with the Two of Wands, please. What does that mean? Oh my goodness. <laughs> so we have the King of Swords, card of Aquarius, and the Two of Wands. Again, I do get duplicates in my readings a lot, as you know if you've, if you've seen my channel for a while. It's just the way Angel Spirits Guides want to push home a message to you. Okay, Page of Wands, Virgo. Wow, the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah. We have the Seven of Wands and the Knight of Swords, the Empress. The Seven of Cups, and we have the Six of Wands. And we have the Ace of Swords. Oh my goodness, Virgo, we've got the Sun, the most positive card in the tarot deck. And nice, we've got the Hanged Man. Yeah, these cards at the end are really beautiful, actually. I will explain to you in a moment. So, yeah. Two of Wands, we have Mars in Aries. This is an energy of, I mean, it can be about choosing your path at a crossroads, where this person is beginning to recognize their own power to shape their world for their life, with their, to shape their world um, by taking action, by using the power that they have within them to make life choices now, decisions, to bring real growth. This is about not, uh, setting your sights on a vision. Um, and interesting, you've got visionary energies at the beginning and end of your reading with the hanged man. So this is somebody who is taking steps to achieve a goal, a vision, an ambition of some kind. And he's not afraid to step into the unknown. In fact, the unknown is exactly where he wants to be. 
Um, you may be choosing between two opportunities, two paths, making life choices on what you want and what you don't want now, but it is all an action to shape your life for the better. And it is the early stages of taking steps towards a new path, something that might not be familiar to you. Yeah, and it's all because of the hanged man. And I'll explain that, actually I'm gonna do that now. I feel it kind of ties in very nicely. Because, you know, it ties in with the Sun card as well, Virgo, and the Hanged Man is a card of alignment. You see, the, the trunk of this tree of knowledge goes straight through the centre of the card. It is a card of alignment, of finding a vision forward to align with your destiny, where you need to go, and the Wheel of Fortune is here in your reading. Something may have come to a pause, a stop for some of you, uh, sometimes the hanged man appears when, you know, that sometimes Virgo, I mean, there's a number of reasons that can bring your life to a pause where you're feeling limbo. Uh, job changes, uh, changes in the workplace, changes in relationship status, um, changes in terms of illness. You know, some of you, you know, sometimes the hanged man can represent an illness that forces you to slow down in order to see the path that you might not have seen had you been going on your merry way. So... It is a real card of enlightenment, of vision, of actually opening your mind to see new possibilities, new solutions, new routes that you might not have considered in the conventional, you know, workings of your daily life. So it's a beautiful card for that reason. It's a real visionary energy. And for some of you, you are finding answers in getting direction forward. And that's what I'm feeling here with the energies. You know, the card of Aquarius, again, a real visionary card. Um, the King of Swords see the, sees the bigger picture. He understands truths of situations. He can sometimes represent the law. Some of you might be moving on, having had dealings with the law, justice, legal systems, all of this kind of thing. He's a real, uh, he's a real card of fairness. Of st he very much sits in the side of truth. But he is somebody who asks you to get the power of your mind and um, get clarity in your mind. He doesn't allow emotions to cloud his judgment. He is air and air. He absolutely sits above, you know, sits in the sky, basically, because he understands that seeing the bigger picture, getting the whole facts of the situation, allows him to see the way forward, make decisions, choices, that will ultimately bring him an advantage and success, because he is the success of his suit. So I feel for some of you, this is absolutely a visionary card of seeing where you're moving towards, having full clarity in the situation now and understanding the decisions and the steps that you need to take. I feel this is talking about an informed decision. If that, ju if that judgment card is an opportunity that is being presented to you, it is you are making an informed decision with the full facts of the situation in front of you. <laughs> interesting because the page of wands card of good news and then we have good luck good fortune <laughs> there could be some good news could be to do with an opportunity could be to do with a connection in your life there is the promise of growth here it is about taking action to fulfill your passions now your desires you know and our passions desires are what drive us what gets us up in the morning what gives us energy to fulfill our ambitions all of this kind of thing it's not just limited to love um, so this can be the beginnings of new growth uh, new beginnings the beginnings of change by the actions that you're taking in a situation but it can also represent opportunity maybe some message of an opportunity coming your way some good news Virgo and the Wheel of Fortune is saying it's all part of destiny. This is very good in terms of career and business, I will say, because, you know, certainly the uh, Wheel of Fortune is fortune. It is money, career. This is a big shift in your turning in your favour, and it is divinely orchestrated. It is a card of divine timing that is linked to your destiny with the Judgment card and also the Wheel of Fortune appearing in your reading, Virgo, this is stepping into the, your light, being on the path of where you need to be on now because some of you have found the answers. Maybe from being in limbo, feeling stagnant energy for a period of time to really see the way forward. It is a beautiful energy. 
I feel for some of you, your challenge is that it has been a challenge, but this person is getting higher ground from the challenges that they face. If you've been challenged by a person, a situation, or even there's internal challenge that you've experienced, know that know your power, your, that when you really connect to your passions, your energy, your resourcefulness, your resolve even, um, to see something through, then there's no stopping you. There's a big message of this person is getting the higher ground over these people. And it is because you are absolutely seeing everything razor sharp clearly in your life. I will say there could be an Aquarius off in your opportunity. The Empress can be linked, linked with Venus and Taurus. We have uh, a Gemini energy as well with the Knight of Swords. So those people could be influential in your life. I feel whatever you've been working towards, there may well be a big shift. It could be a decision or choice that is opening up to new possibilities here. And the Wheel of Fortune can be a new beginning as well. Let's remember that. The Empress is about manifesting the new, the beginnings of manifestation taking form when you take action on that new path. It is all linked to your life choices, decisions, what you're doing at this crossroads. Because I certainly feel that when you get clarity, that's when you really find direction. When you really kind of move at fast speed towards something that promises to grow into something wonderful. But the Empress is the seed. She can represent childbirth, pregnancy. She can represent love aspects, but also money aspects as well. Because she is Venus that rules love and money. So I feel for some of you... There is a, a kind of message here that something is opening up for you. There is the promise of something by the hard work, the effort that you're putting into something. I just feel you are gathering momentum in your efforts. The Knight of Swords is a real ambitious energy. You are seeing the goal in front of you and I feel it is about taking action towards embracing the new. Now that could be in terms of career in particular given the cards on the table. Maybe a new path opening up for some of you, seeing where you need to go and taking steps towards it. If you're feeling any reservation, it is kind of like I'm feeling certainly with this energy, the new is exactly where you need to be. This is somebody stepping into unknown territory and not fearing it, but actually being quite happy to bring expansion and growth to their life. So the emperors can be the beginnings of new jobs, the beginnings of new business ventures, the beginnings of financial investments, um, the beginnings of new ways of making money, the beginnings of a, boss, a budding relationship. All of this kind of thing can be linked to the promise of the empress. But there's a big message that you have to take action to make this happen. She says that you lack for nothing as she lacks for nothing in co-creating her reality. And this person is fully aware that of their power to create the reality that they want to create. And they're taking steps towards that now, choosing their path. And I feel for some of you, that is where the Empress is saying, doors are opening for you, but you have to do the work to step through them. This is about putting something behind you, whatever obstacle you've experienced, whatever challenge you've experienced that has brought you to a pause in your life where you felt in limbo for a period of time. I feel this is where you are going to put this period of your life behind you. And there is such promise ahead. This can be your hopes, dreams and wishes being ahead of you. But you are being told to trust your instincts to make clear choices because these choices have consequences. Again, we have this Pluto energy associated with the Seven of Cups, very much like the Rebirth card, which is about choose wisely because it's almost kind of like, again, whatever this choice is may stay with you. But I feel you're in a good position. You are seeing things clearly. Whatever challenge you faced, it is you are overcoming it and putting it behind you. And there is a level of achievement 
that you've experienced here or you're going to experience moving forward towards your hopes, dreams and wishes and making them happen. Something more fulfilling in your life lies ahead. But I feel that, again, there is this choice aspect of choosing wisely here. Trust your instincts from within. Because that is all to do with the path of destiny, where you need to be in your life now. A deep awakening that's around you, that's linked to that, de that destiny, the path that you need to be on. And that's what the hanged man is. It is finding those answers from within to see that path clearly in your external environment. I just feel that if you're confused in any way, um, it is going within to find the answers in your external environment. Because everything is becoming clear. You know, the sun energy is divine energy shining on you, Virgo. This is you being in your natural power, but also you're putting behind you. Um, sometimes it can be, the wall can represent your own limitations, your own, your own boundaries, uh, breaking free of your own restrictions maybe in some way. But also I feel this is what you are releasing with that rebirth energy. Uh, putting behind you, and again I'm feeling that with this card, putting behind you old wounds, old hurts, old challenges, old obstacles that you have overcome. And you're moving on from it with the experience and knowledge that you gained from it, but you're not held hostage to it anymore. That is the judgment card. And that's kind of like what I'm feeling with this energy because there's real liberation with the sun card. It is about letting go again. You see, we've got 19, we've got 20. They are a step change. Put something behind you in order to step into your light. And this is moving towards stepping into your light, the rebirth card, the judgment card. It is a card of joy, good news, celebration. I feel there's some good news coming your way this week. Could be to do with an opportunity or a connection coming into your life, Virgo. I feel it's very strong in terms of career. Beautiful energy. Uh, and the, the Sun card can link particularly with money and success. So, you know, we've got the sunflowers there for a reason, reason which represents growth. Now, when the sun comes out, everything begins to grow. We can talk about budding relationships, budding, um, the beginnings of growth in terms of money and career as well, in particular with the Wheel of Fortune. So powerful energy. We have a card of victory, two cards of victory. Six of Wands is a card of victory and the Ace of Swords. You are cutting cords with whatever's gone before and stepping into a new beginning in your power as represented by the crown. This is with absolute clarity in terms of where you're going, the decisions that you need to make, um, all guided to you by the hand of God, the divine, the universe. It has been a difficult journey to get the Ace of Swords, new beginning, but it is here, Virgo. And I absolutely feel that this is happening for some of you in the next few weeks. So it is a powerful message for some of you trust have confidence and i feel the confidence is very much the one's energy there's no fear here to take action to something that is very much linked with your destiny divine orchestration divine timing it's beautiful okay what do we have for virgo please we have solitude you know when i see this card virgo because uh, the hermit can sometimes be a solitary figure, though he's not always on his own. Um, he sometimes seeks solace. That's, I kind of feel this is almost kind of like you reconnecting with who you are as well. So we have solitude. Think of being alone as meaning you are all one and in total harmony with everything. The greatest treasures are those that wait silently during your quiet times. And I just think during those quiet times, you are absolutely seeing the bigger picture, having a game plan, a strategy maybe, in terms of the steps that you need to make, the choices you're taking now. Okay, I'm gonna pull one more card, Virgo. Yeah, we have motivation. When spring approaches, the flower fairies urge you to spring into action. If there's something you've been merely thinking about doing, they say get busy and do it. 
And I feel this is an energy of, of just do it now. There's an achievement, there's victory in sight. You are putting behind you something that has been challenging, something that brought your life to a pause or felt like you were in limbo for a period of time. But I certainly feel that there is powerful karma around you and divine guidance. So your intuition is playing an important part in your life in guiding your energy forwards and helping you make the right decision. It is beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you, Virgo, and I will see you next time. Thank you.